how would Gentiles understand that? How would Gentiles deal with that idea? And I'm like, okay, well, let's start with what does Torah mean? Torah means an instruction. So I asked the question, well, okay, since Torah means instruction, where's the first instruction? And we looked at verses like, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. So if that's an instruction, then you've got Torah, but you don't have Jews yet. Now that changes it completely, of course. So an instruction is where laws come from. Laws have that. That's what there's a there's a ruling and there's instructions that go with it. So the Torah has always actually been in that way. So Christians even, even though they think that they're against, the, they're not. They can't be. They can't have Jesus without it. Right, and and as we point out in the later chapters, right, Christians keep Torah. Yeah. They, as this, as a practical matter, they do. There are some that they that some of them feel completely free to disregard, such as the dietary laws. But even that, they, they, they disregard maybe two or three categories, and the rest of it they observe just out of habit, at least Western Christians. I don't know about right, the right. world. But, and, and then uh, Christians believe in punishment for crimes like murder right. and theft and adultery. And, you know, they don't, if they catch their pastor in the middle of a sin, they don't sweep it under the rug. They fire him, and they find right. him, you know. And, and I mean, it, so it's like, that's that was the that was the whole thing for me, especially as a Christian. I'm watching like I'm going to these churches, and when you go into a Christian church and you become a member of it, you quickly figure out after a while you just got to look around and keep your eyes open. There are things that are okay to do, and there are things that are not okay to do. Yes. And what was troubling for me was hearing that, but also hearing uh, the law has been done away with. The old law is finished. We don't need to do that. And we're we're living in the law of love. We're living into the law of, under grace. We, and I'm like, well, okay, but if I'm if I'm under grace, and then I go, you know, the pastor's up there preaching, and I just walk up and take a baseball bat and hit him in the face, they're not going to stand there and do nothing about it. Right. You know, they're gonna they're gonna have me arrested and taken away. Right. So, the law is still there. Why did I do it? Did I do it because I think it makes my son. Uh allows him to have salvation in Jesus? No. I needed him to be circumcised because he is a son of Abraham, and yep. that is the law. Yep. We get circumcised. That's what we do. What does Jesus have to, and his mother, have to have a sacrifice done that is because Mary was impure? I mean, shock, horror. Could the saviour of mankind make his mother impure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Either that or you can't trust the Gospels. It's beautifully complicated, not in a bad way, but the point is we'll keep it simple. It's according to law. A new uh, mezuzah that I told you about. I, yes. I got it in the mail yesterday, fastened it to my wall, and now when I walk by it, I do a kiss it and touch it with my fingers. It's a witness. Now watch, doing that, does that do, does doing that imply that you are diminishing Jesus? No. No. Nope. Are, you, are you doing that to earn salvation? No. Nope. You see, and that's the mistake Christians make again. The irony again, if I can just point this out. Christians will, will denounce religion as works. Now, obviously, religious activity is work because you're doing something, so that's a fair label. But then I'll ask them, tell me, do you pray? Do you read your Bible? Do you go to any special services? Yeah. Do you ever commemorate anything relating to Jesus? The minute they've done any of that, they are being religiously active doing themselves. Works. Yeah, I mean, it's... And then I can ask them, say, so, do you go to church to get saved? And they'll instantly tell me, no. I say, okay, do you pray to get saved? No. Why do you do all of that? The right answer they should give me is because I believe I am being saved. Yep. It's just a reaction to the grace I know I'm getting. I'm like, well done. So why won't you let us Jews have the same?